Tentacle Adventure Clubbers, where are we today? We are in Waitopia! Waitopia! Clubbers. Mary and I have recently started Zwifting and you, a lot of you have been asking about our setup and our experience uh, and that's what this video is about. Uh, there is a blog post to accompany the video and I'll pop a link for that in in the description below so please head over and have a read of that uh, during, before or after watching the video. So we would love to be riding outdoors all the time but life does get in the way of that unfortunately um, and that means that when we do get time to go out on our bicycle adventures it isn't always as enjoyable as it could be uh, because we're not prepared and this became apparent on our recent wild camping in wales video uh, we struggled with cycling up some of those mountains because we tried to go from zero to hero in a couple of days and the effort just, uh, it just zapped us. We have also committed to cycling the North Coast 500 in September 2021. If we want any chance of completing that, we need to really keep on top of our um, base fitness and improve our fitness levels and in order to, in, to do that we've got to fit that around our life so we invested in a Wahoo kicker unit and a subscription to Zwift which is what you can see on the screen here in front of you this allows us to get some miles in at home without neglecting our life we can be at home and available whilst working on our cycling adventures and improving our fitness levels and any other skills that we need to improve upon. There's less faff involved in getting out cycling. We just get in here, switch everything on, make sure we've got a towel and some water uh, and, we're, and we're away, off we can go. In terms of hardware, the Wahoo Kicker is a direct drive unit. It replaces the rear wheel of your bike and allows you to use the bike that you've already got. It's a hefty bit of kit. It's got a 7.2 kilogram flywheel on it, which essentially makes the ride feel smoother and more realistic. It gives a, a pretty realistic feel. The cycling feels good and it's pretty quiet. I've got uh, the fan going at the moment, which is probably noisier than the unit itself. So you just attach your bike to the unit, plug it in, and away you go. You connect it via Bluetooth or ANT Plus to your device, your computer, your mobile phone, or your PC. And away you go. The feet are adjustable and very sturdy, and apparently allow you to rock the unit from side to side. So it gives you a a realistic feel if you like um, but all in all it was really easy and quick to set up the only stumbling block I had was that it came with an 11 speed cassette and uh, my bike is an old 8 speed but I've got the right tools so I just swapped that out really quickly and, and I was on, on my way so apart from the kicker replacing the rear wheel the bike remains the same, so you use your gears as normal and you're comfortable on it, it fits you. So it feels, feels really good. Now unlike outside, you don't generate a breeze when you're cycling indoors, so you do need a fan. Uh, I've got a big fan here, which is pretty powerful, helping to keep me cool. Uh, Mary, Mary doesn't really need the fan because she's pretty cool anyway. Now up the front 
Tendia, we've got Zwift. Uh, we subscribe to this. This is a, a monthly subscription. And there are lots of apps available that the Kicker will connect with, including the free Wahoo app. But the appealing thing about this for me uh, was, uh, was Zwift and cycling around these virtual worlds, which really enhances the indoor cycling experience. I've got a laptop here with Zwift on it and I've got the companion app, Zwift companion app on my mobile phone which I've got on my handlebars and the companion app allows me to interact with with all the other people that are cycling around these virtual worlds all these people here, Germany, uh, France, Belgium, Ch China, Wales, the United States, Canada, Sweden they're all over the world people are cycling around Waitopia, which is Zwift's virtual world. So it can be um, a very social experience if you want it to be, or you can just head off and cycle on your own. It, uh, it's completely up to you. But what is nice about it is all of those people are real. It's not just like a game or a cartoon. They're, they're real people that are cycling. So, so you don't feel so alone and it feel, does feel quite, uh, quite sociable. We recently did a Bicycle Adventure Club Zwift ride and there was four of us all met up in Zwift and cycled around the desert together and it was absolutely brilliant, really enjoyable, just half an hour cycling around. The riding feels really, really good, but it's a much more static experience than cycling outside. Uh, it's, it's a little, it's harder work. I'm not moving the bike around as much because of the road surface or the terrain. So there's no coasting and those little respites that you get outside aren't happening, uh, which is probably a good thing. But Zwift has tons of virtual worlds to cycle around, including, including famous cities, mountains, mountain passes, including uh, Waitopia, which is Zwift's own virtual world. Whew, I'm going up here. I'm cycling up a volcano, it's hard work. Uh, so that's the nice thing about this unit, is it? You see here the gradients at 5%, so it alters the resistance, so you feel that, which is great and useful. It makes it feel very real. Obviously, cycling around a volcano feels very real. But the uh, resistance helps. Oh. But Zwift has also got loads of training camps and training programs that you can join if you really want to improve your riding and your fitness. And it uses your height and weight and other metrics to tailor the program and it constantly monitors your effort and adjusts accordingly. So it's a real clever, clever thing. So when I'm doing a workout, for example, it will use something called the RG mode or ergometer mode. And that means it looks after all the resistance. I just have to concentrate on pedaling and killing myself. Uh, whereas when I'm riding around like this, I can use my gears as normal to make things a bit easier or, or uh, adapt to the terrain. Uh, so this, as you can see, is riding around the volcano route. There are a couple of little little gradients and as you can see if I put in a bit more effort I get out the saddle <sighs> and there we are but it's uh, it makes it interesting you can sit and get lost in the scenery as you would and explore a little bit I suppose as you would when you were uh, outdoors so hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into our Swifting setup. It's also quite new to us, and there's an awful lot more to learn and do. But uh, it's a really powerful bit of kit, and coupled with the Zwift, it's uh, it's really made indoor cycling a lot of fun, whilst allowing us to stay at home. Um, I've already noticed the difference when we go outside cycling, and we've been on some longer rides. I've noticed that certain routes are requiring less effort 
and so it's, it's paying dividends already. I also mentally feel a bit better about doing the North Coast 500 because I know that I've got the facility to get some harder rides in. So if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It only takes a minute to hit the subscribe button, but it really helps the channel. We really need to get to a thousand subscribers and by subscribing, you can help us do that. Don't forget to read the accompanying blog. I'll pop the link in the description below. Uh, we've also got some t-shirts, caps and badges for sale on our website. Christmas is coming. We make perfect presents for you or the cyclist in your life. And thank you for watching. Please leave a comment or any questions you've got below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Now I've got my road slash gravel bike hooked up to this thing for me and Mary to use all the time. That means I'm going to need a new bike.